Card Surfer Girl 326. So I have a little bit of a taste testing for you. Um, as uh, some of you uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, know that I just got back from Orlando. Uh, and I think I have mentioned in my last couple um, videos. Um, and we have been dying to go to Bucky's ever since they uh, were both open. There's one in St. Augustine and there's one in Daytona. And um, when we were there in Orlando, February, they just were getting ready to open like days um, after we have, were coming back home. So we were excited and everybody's like, what's the hype? It's like, it's just, they're really nice com convenience store gas station. There's like a hundred pumps, um, but everything's very clean. Um, and it's like, um, no, no, no other, um, I don't, I don't want to say it like not rest area, but, um, tourist attraction, I guess, kind of, but I mean, their food is amazing. Um, um, I have pictures, um, so on the way, I'm trying to remember. So on the way to Orlando, we stopped at St. Augustine and ate um, lunch there. And we both had uh, the beef briskets, uh, the sliced beef brisket. You can get the pull, pulled, you know, like, you know, pull, pour, you know, pulled, like shredded. No, I'm sorry, shredded. And we got the sliced and they hand um, sliced their potato chips or um and they were so good they reminded me of the disney chips that i've gotten on um uh pop century um art of animation contemporary the, you know the real the good ch chips they have there um and then so on the way back um leaving orlando um we had breakfast and um and i will either insert the pictures before i do my testing or uh, tasting or after um, we both, um, got, uh, eggs, no, what did, yeah, I think he got a sandwich and I believe I got some kind of a burrito. It was a egg and bacon, um, in it and it, mine was so good. And I think he, his was too, um, and I, I can't remember if I got a hash brown. I'll have to run the picture, but anyway, I'm going to try to do it as quick as I can. Um, I might have to do another tasting because I bought um their fudge and it's in this box but i've had it in the refrigerator and i forgot to take it out so i'm and but let me tell you what there is like uh about 20 flavors in here and um i'm gonna try to maybe i just put it in the microwave for like 10, 20 seconds so i'm hoping some of them will be soft enough um but that was like 13 dollars um, for all that fudge, and, um, so I'm, I'm excited about try the fudge, um, I'm, um, I may not, I may not try it, I just, depends on how long it takes me, okay, so anyway, so this is the first thing, everybody that I've ever heard is when they're raves about the beaver nights, um, so I, I got the plain, and I also got cinnamon, and I also got sea salted caramel, It's nothing really spectacular, but um, it's just really sweet, and and um, from what I have heard, it does pretty much exactly taste like uh, that cereal. Is it pop? Uh, corn pops? That's exactly what it tastes like. It's just really sweet, um, and um, let me, let me show you what they look like. It just looks like a little cheese curl to me. But they are really sweet and really good. Um, so I'm just going to try one or two. And then, and I'm sure I'm going to love these because I love caramel. So this is the sea salted caramel. I just, I'm doing this to just kind of show y'all the variety of what they have there. Um, because um, a lot of people don't even, you know, know what they have. And, um, anyway, that was so good. Okay. Nope. It's the same thing. It's just got a uh, caramel on it. And it tastes a little bit sweeter. But it doesn't, it's not overpowering. It's not like eating caramel popcorn or. That's right. But, but what I really liked, um, you can, I mean, these were like a dollar and a half, two dollars. If you don't want to get, commit to the five, six dollar bag. And I think these were by the registers. 
you can just get a little bag. And um, I had to uh, do a little swap uh, with somebody, um, a candy swap. And um, I I got a couple little bags uh, for them to try it. And I also got something else. So this is the cinnamon. Uh, okay, cinnamon sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna... And I do love cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Oh, you can... I wish there were smell vision You can... Oh, that smells so good. I'm making it a little bit more crunchy. You know, it's not like a red hot. It's just like a crunchy cinnamon bun. If, if that's the word, if that's a phrase. So, if you like cinnamon buns, cinnamon anything, you need to get these. This is just that on steroids. That's that's my opinion. I just wanted to share that with y'all. So that's all the sweet stuff. Um, well. I also have, so they also had um, um, nuts, they had cashews, and I think, what was the other one? I sent one to my pecans, cashews, walnuts, there was another, there's, what's the other nut? There's another, I gave, I gave away a pecan and there was something else. Almonds. Okay, so they have, um, and they're like glazed. So they have uh, pecans, cashews, and the almonds. And almonds are just kind of too tough for me. And it's just, you know, like you, the sugar, like candied almond uh, pecans. It's very sugary. Um, okay, well, um, you know, it's kind of like eating a praline, but honest, um, I'm so used to eating young pecans we have in South Carolina, but also, with, I've had these for a week, but I've had them in the refrigerator, and maybe just because they're hard, but they're very, they, they taste very good, um, but they're really crunchy, but, um, you know, just, and it's like the whole, I mean, it's, and this was like maybe two and a half dollars, maybe three, two and a half, three dollars. So the um oh no, I'm so oh, oh, I'm sorry, four dollars. So it's um so it's got bucket there and um and it tells you all the ingredients and I mean the calories and everything. Oh well, I burn it. <laughs> I've got so much sweet stuff here. And then we have the cashews. And, um, I, love, I just love this packaging. It's so cute. Okay. Oh, okay. So, it looks like, oh, I missed just a couple. I don't, can't tell if there's a peanut with it, too. So, it's just, it's very, it's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's, uh, candy. It's, it's hard. But, um, uh, oh, no. Well, it could be because the cashew, this one was more, um, more enjoyable but not as hard but with the, whatever the sugar that they use is it's really tasty very very good but it's not it's not like you know um back of your teeth you know like oh it's too sugar it's too sweet um i probably could sit down and eat half one of these probably or even the whole thing who knows but i i just wanted to um i just wanted to sh show y'all all the, the different things that they have. And, um, so this is a little savory. So me and James love sesame sticks. And it's a little bit more of a healthier choice than, the, you know, potato chips or something. Um, because, um, because there actually is a little protein in them. You know, from them. Alright, oh, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm really just going to pour a couple out so I'm not touching all of them. Um. And this is like a, uh, this is 12 ounces. And I think this might have been about, um, about four or five bucks. And um, I, I get these in the grocery store, like Publix and all the time. Um, yeah, and they're not sugar. It's just, they're just hun honey roasted. And they're really good. They, um, they're not hard. Um, they're really good. 
Okay. And then my next fall savory. This is a little tray on it. Um, this was this was only two ninety nine. And um, and I saw and these little things they make great gifts. I think. Look, see how it's packaged. Nice little bow there. And um, all right, let me get into this. I'm sure this is gonna be now. Um, this looks like this is the the uh, nuggets in here with um like oh rice squares or I think and little pretzels. Um, I'll take a little tasty bow off. All right, so we have yes, we have. So we have to be with the little nuggets and um oh looks like a little bagel bites little bagel chips all right i'm curious if they put flavor on the oil oh wow now that's different so it's not it's, I've really enjoyed the texture, though, you know, um, the, of the nugget. And uh, I guess they just, the seasoning is the same with everything. Um, let me see what else they got. And there's something, I hope this is not hot. There's something that kind of looks, I don't know, maybe that's a little oyster cracker. I can't, I'm not sure. But, um, but, there's, but there's lots of different things in here, if you can tell through the plastic. And, um, it's very good. Oh my gosh! I think there's even a goldfish in here. Yeah. <laughs> little pretzel sticks, I mean pretzel. Um, but that, I mean, for three dollars, you know what? If you want, like, a little alternative, take that and then go on the road, finish your trip, or take it home with you. Um, let me real quick, I just, I'll tell you. If they, I don't know if they'll list everything, they're just ingredients, but, um, oh, it just, it's, okay, so the main ingredient says it's beaver nuggets, brown sugar, cornmeal, blah, 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 um, oh, so they say that they make it with the Chex Mix, so they actually put Chex Mix in it, so I don't know, maybe it's the original, um, yeah, that's, so that's something. So, um, but, um, I mean, for $3, that's, that's not bad at all. Okay. Now, my favorite part, chocolate. So, I'm going to, um, so, I bake, I, these are so hard to put down. So, this is the first one. This is, uh, I put this on my Instagram. You peanut butter lovers, Tracy Glenn, Candy Mom. Cynthia, you need these in your life. These are delicious. They are so good. Um, it's like a Reese's peanut butter cup, just ten times better. Just, I mean, um, I just, I, I saved this so I could show you what they look like. Cause I, I sent, I put pictures up and everything, but until you see it, and they are like two dollars a piece, one ninety nine. But, um, and and. You, and you can't eat the whole thing. I mean, like, well, I I usually eat about half of it at a time. But this is how big it is. See the palm on my, the palm on my hand. That is how big they are. But, so this one's got peanut butter in it. So you break it. Mm, sorry, Bucky. And there is that deliciousness. This is the smoothest. Uh, creamiest peanut butter I have ever had and it kind of reminds me I don't know if you all know what Buckeyes are but I used to make them all the time it's peanut butter and you put powdered sugar in it and you dip, dip it in chocolate that consistency of the peanut butter kind of is what this tastes like and this 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 is just so that's how about it that's the peanut butter and then and and you get quite a bit of I mean and I want to show you how thick the chocolate is there's the chocolate and it's just a huge Reese. It's just a huge Reese peanut butter cup. Mm. Mm. Uh -oh. mm. It's just so delicious. Um. So. And I'm not gonna open these because I don't like dark chocolate. And I don't like white. But I wanted to show you these. 
this is the same back thing they do make dark chocolate with the peanut butter inside and they have um they have the white chocolate with the same peanut butter inside i think james might do a little testing with his mom because they both like white chocolate but i just thought i would show those to you um that's my little tasting and i'll probably will do another one with the fudge because i it's just well let me do a couple of them um on this anyway so i'm i'm just going to end it here because it's 15 minutes long and i just wanted y'all to get a little taste um of everything that bookies has to offer it was such a nice place to go um when we went to the saint augustine one uh, uh we were uh, we found the little area just past the gas stations uh, it's a little dog area and there was a station for your dog you know with the little bags and uh, it was nice and grassy and then there were small cherry because that's where like jojo likes to go um uh, those of you that's my, that's our little chihuahua and he, he always comes with us on our trips and um and um i, I just i can't say enough about bucky's um all the ga gas pumps um and when you go inside it's just it's just huge i mean uh and when we went last week they already had christmas up they had christmas decorations um and um i will uh and i also did take some video uh inside of them so uh, i'll put that video probably up after this one um or maybe before i'm i'm not sure uh i just uh, i just i i just i just we just love that place so much uh and it's very reasonable i mean you know um you know some of it's a little hot but i mean you i mean you know granted this is like three dollars but i mean you know i it's a lot <laughs> don't you know um i probably would get sick if i ate the whole thing but um i hope you enjoyed this little tasting that i did uh i just i wanted um to let everyone know um uh, what they had to offer um and i probably um i'm just going to sh show you the, the fudge so i think there's like they have key lime pie um, there's birthday cake. Um, I think James said there's a blueberry cheesecake. And, um, gosh, there's just, just so many flavors. Um, but, um, but I, I might do a little taste. And if not, I, I just thought I would show you. Uh, but, um, anyway, that is a lot of fudge for Turkey Mill. I mean, you go to little specialty places. And, um, that's about what you get, you know, for just like, you know, one little, one like, one little square is usually about five or six bucks um so i hope everyone uh enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you uh think um do you like me doing tastings like this um uh because uh we bought uh we went to the polynesian and um ate lunch there and um let me know if you want to review about our lunch um because i got i although even though i was disappointed uh i went to go get my uh, pineapple and coconut chocolate cover bacon. And guys, I, w I was so let down, but I, I still have a piece I've been at keeping for dream. I want to show y'all. Um, if, if you'd like to see a review on that. Um, but anyway, anyway um, I hope everyone has a blessed day.